Hello again. We're back in the New Forest and today we're visiting a Huff Duff. A what? A Huff Duff. Let me explain. Along the south coast of England during World War II, there was an elaborate communications network set up to monitor aircraft movements, both enemy and defenders. At the sharp end of this were a series of direction finding posts and it's one of these that we're going to see here at Ibsley in the New Forest. These direction finding posts used high frequency radio bands so they came to be known as HFDF or Huff Duffs. Using a system of triangulation two or more Huff Duffs about 30 miles apart could determine the direction and position of a defensive aircraft from their radio transmissions. Once this information was passed back to the set to control, defensive aircraft could be guided to intercept the enemy planes. Each of these posts was also equipped with a Homer, a radio transmitter beacon to help Allied aircraft navigate their way home in bad weather. The Huff Duff would have been a three-storey wooden tower, about 30 feet high. What we can see now is a brick blast wall to protect the tower from enemy bombs exploding nearby. As we walk inside the blast wall, we can see the outline of the foundations of the wooden tower. Around the outside of the Huff Duff is a ring of stones showing the various points on the compass. Nearby we can see the foundations of the crew's living quarters and their air raid shelter. On the information panel here we can read the story of Ginger Tom, a cat who lived in the Huff Duff with the crew. Ginger Tom spent most of his time asleep on the warm signal generating set. The crew quickly noticed that whenever they received a radio transmission, Ginger Tom flicked his ears and shook his head. He was even given his own pair of headphones. One evening in the summer of 1942, Ginger Tom started to twitch, but the crew couldn't find any radio transmissions. They sent up a bearing transmission anyway, while Ginger Tom continued to twitch. This went on for some time, with Ginger Tom's ears twitching, but the crew heard nothing. It turned out that an American pilot in a P-38 was lost, with one engine on fire and the other misfiring. He'd sent out a mayday signal, which Ginger Tom picked up. The US pilot managed to plot his position and landed successfully at an airfield in Exeter. Ginger Tom probably saved the American pilot's life. At the end of the war, Ginger Tom was adopted by a local family and lived out the rest of his life in happy retirement.